Welcome to Noah Yachting's check-in video for Sophia. Sophia is a 2018 Impression 50 by Elan. Come on board, let's show you how she works. To start your engine, first make sure you're in neutral. You can check this by pushing in the button and moving it forward. This is a neutral with the revs attached. Now, when you pull it back, the button pops out, you're in neutral. Hold power to start the power to the panel. Then push start for two seconds until the engine excites. Make sure you check that there is water discharging from the exhaust, so that means the cooling system is working properly. To excite the revs, push in this button into neutral and move forward. When engaging in forward gear, move this handle forward swiftly and then apply your revs. When changing to reverse, make sure to stop in neutral and allow the gear to slow down, then engage in reverse. When turning off your engine, hold on stop. Once the engine has stopped, hold down power to turn off the power to the panel. To turn on your bow thrusters, make sure the switch for bow thruster is turned on at the control panel. Then hold down power to turn on the thruster. Once the light is illuminated fully, the thruster is running. Hold down starboard to thrust to bow the starboard. Hold down port to thrust the bow to port. Hold down power to turn the thruster off. The autopilot is located on the starboard helm station. To engage the autopilot, click auto and it will hold your current heading. To increase your bearing to starboard, press plus 10 and you will turn to starboard or if you don't want to adjust by that much, adjust with single degrees. To turn to port, hit port and to take the helm manually, press standby and then you can helm manually. You also have here one of your BNG display panels. This can display many different options depending on which page you select. Your BNG touchscreen GPS is located here on the center console. This is a touchscreen system where you can pan, zoom, and select detail using the touchscreen system. You can also select which page you would like displayed by pressing on this button in the top right and then choosing your detail. To raise the swim platform, make sure the plank is removed and there is no one standing on the platform and then hold this button here to lift. To lower the swim platform, push down on this button here. The life raft is located underneath the cabin deck, accessible when the swim platform is down. Also under here is the swim ladder, which can be placed on the swim platform. The cockpit shower is located here. You can pull this out and adjust the pressure here. Ensure you have turned the pressure off at the tap and check that it is not leaking so that you do not waste your fresh water. In the cockpit of Sophia, you have on the starboard side a, a small sink and tap unit and on the port side a storage locker with a dry locker for electronics. You also have a small cockpit fridge here. You can control this by these settings here, power on, off and what level of temperature you would like. Your extra equipment is located in the port and starboard lazarettes. In the port lazarette, you have a spare fuel container, 50 meter shoreline, boat hook, extra dock lines, fuel for the outboard, and another spare line. Also, you have the handle for the manual bilge pump. To operate the manual bilge pump, take the handle, insert into here, and pump to remove water from the bilge. In the starboard lazarette, you have a funnel, baler, hose for filling your water tanks, spare anchor, pump for the dinghy, and the oars for the dinghy. The 
gas bottle for cooking is located here in this locker. To turn the bottle on, turn this anti-clockwise. To close the bottle, turn it clockwise. If you need to change the bottle, unscrew from this position here. Put in your spare bottle and screw back up. Secure properly within the locker and close. The shore power cable is located here underneath the starboard helm seat. When anchoring on board Sophia, open the anchor locker and secure back. These controls here are down and up. You use these either with your foot or with your fingers. Remove the safety line from the anchor. When anchoring, make sure that your motor is excited in neutral to 1500 to 2000 revs. This will help with charging while you're running your anchor windlass. Push down to lower. Ten meters is marked with the red twine. When bringing the anchor back up, if the chain piles up while you are anchoring, watch it and then push the pile down into the anchor well. Make sure the last part happens slowly so that you do not damage the boat with the anchor. When you're finished anchoring, make sure to bring this back to neutral so the bottom pops out, then you can engage in forward gear. Sophia has two water tanks and two water fill points. This one is on the port bow and is labelled water. Make sure you double check anything you are filling and it is labelled water as you may be filling a diesel or a waste valve. This one says water, fill your forward tank here. The second fill point is in midships on the port side. This also says water on it. Fill your second water tank from here. Your diesel tank is filled from the starboard side at midships here. This one says diesel. Use a winch handle to open this and fill your diesel here before you return for your charter. Your technician will check your sails before the start of your charter to make sure they're in good working order. If you would like to check these, roll them out with at least two people and check over for yourself. If you find any defects, take photos of these with your mobile phone and report them to the office staff. To pull out your mainsail, you need to put a winch handle in here to manage the ratchet. Tension this and move this to free. Unwind this as someone pulls in the outhaul from the cockpit. If you do not want to pull out all of your sail, stop at the desired amount, move this back to ratchet and it will hold against the outboard. When bringing your sail back in, flick back to ratchet, ease the outhaul as you grind in the main sail. Make sure to maintain some tension on the outhaul to make the roll nice and tight. control panel is located here at the nav station. This panel will show you the status of your batteries, your tanks, and the energy that is going in and out of the battery systems. 
Here you have all of your controls for your lights on the DC panel. Anchor light, running light, navigation, deck, tricolor and boom light. To turn on your shower pumps and your water pump, turn on here. The waste water pump is for the black water tanks for each of the heads. When you want to empty your waste water tanks, make sure you are not around other boats or close by land and press on these pumps until the tank shows empty. Your bilge pump is here and located just forward of the engine bay. You can use this manually with this switch. In this position, it is on a float switch and will run automatically if water comes into the bilge. Your saloon, cockpit and cabin lights are controlled here. To turn on your anchor winch control, your navigational instruments turn on here and your swim platform turn on here. This is for your bow thruster. Freezer in the galley, fridge in the galley and fridge in the cockpit is done by these switches here. The hood is not connected. These switches control the cockpit socket 12 volt next to the shore power underneath the helm seat. And this is for the 12 volt sockets here. This is the AC panel when running on 230 volts connected to shore power. This light shows when your shore power is connected. The shore power too is not connected and irrelevant. Inside your navigation table and chart table, there are the charts for the area. Plotting equipment such as your rulers, dividers and your hand bearing compass. The local pilot and light lists for the area and the manuals for the yacht. The VHF radio is above the chart station. Turn it on this with this knob, which is also the volume adjustment. Adjust your channel with this button here. The International Distress and Calling Channel is channel 16. You can adjust the sensitivity of the radio here. Artsy marinas and local port authorities are mostly on channel 17. All of the safety equipment for Sophia is located in this cupboard here. Here we have your fire extinguishers, tool kit, first aid kit, flares inside the dry bag, axe for emergencies, foghorn, thermal blankets, harnesses and tethers, bosun's chair, day shapes for anchoring and motor sailing, sea anchor and drogue. When you arrive for your charter, the life jackets will all be out here in the saloon for your inspection. Engine bay is located here underneath the floor of the main saloon. The emergency stop for the engine is here. Press down on this to stop the engine in an emergency. If your engine is not running, check this switch here. Push and turn, lift into the run position. The main switches for the service and engine batteries are located here on the starboard side of the engine room. At the aft end or at the back is the engine main switch for the batteries for the engine. On the forward side is the main switch for the service batteries. Push red to turn off. Push green to re-engage power. The bow thruster and anchor windlass battery switch is in the forward starboard cabin here. The fuses for both the anchor windlass and the bow thruster are located here. If you have any problems with the electrical systems on board Sophia, contact NOAA services immediately and we will talk you through the process. On top of the engine bay, there is a port called fire port. And in the case of an emergency and a fire in the engine bay, do not open the bay door, poke the fire extinguisher hose through here and empty the extinguisher into the engine bay to extinguish the fire. The main fuse switch for the shore power is located in the aft starboard cabin. At the end of the cabin there is a small cupboard. Open this and the breaker is around the back of the panel. In this position it is on and in this position it is off. If you have a problem with your shore power, check this fuse and if there are any further problems contact the NOAA services team. Sophia has two fridges, one opening fridge here and another chest fridge here. The fridge's temperature control is mounted under here and you can change the temperature. We suggest putting this in the middle about 4 or 5 to save power. The gas shutoff valve is located under the oven. When it is in this position it is off across the line. Turn it on in line with the line when you are cooking and then when you are finished turn it off again and turn the gas off at the bottom. 
you have two water tanks in Sofia. One in the bow and one at the midships underneath the saloon seats. These are both filled from separate locations, one filled from the midships on the port side and one filled from the port bow. These two tanks are connected and there is no switch to change between them. The forward starboard head aboard Sophia is an electric pump toilet. To operate the toilet, push this one button to flush through. You need to hold the pump on for about 6 to 8 seconds in order to pump the waste up and down into the holding tank. The Blackwater tank valve is located in this cupboard. When the valve is in this position, it is pumping to the wastewater tank. Follow the arrows. When the valve is in this position, it is pumping directly to the sea. The shower drain pump is a manual button pump. Push this to drain the water out of the footwell. <laughs> The aft port head has a manual pump toilet and a push button shower drain. Push here to drain the shower sump. To operate the manual pump toilet, you have two positions in which this can be in. Over this way, with this symbol, it will pump water only out. When it is switched this way, it will pump water in and out at the same time. When it is to this setting, the bowl will naturally fill to a certain level. When you are finished going to the toilet, remove the waste by putting the switch in this position, then switch it to flush, and pump 15 to 20 times to remove all the waste from the bowl and pump it up and down into the holding tank. When you are finished, swip this over to the other side and remove the excess water. Push the handle down and turn to lock into position. Remember, nothing that doesn't come out of your body goes down the toilet. Put the toilet paper and other sanitary products in the bins provided inside the locker. Thank you for watching this video check-in for the 2018 Elan Impression 50. I hope you have an amazing week. See you when you get back.